Hello again, friends. This video is going to be about language server configuration in Helix. So as you might know, by default, Helix supports a bunch of language servers, and you can check those with hx space dash dash health. This shows you all the languages that are supported and also the language servers. For example, right here, this is YAML and I have the YAML language server installed. And because it's supported by default, I didn't need to do any configuration, it just works. So it's very simple. And if you want to check a specific language, you can just type it here at the end. And as you can see here, I have rough installed and Jedi language server, and those just work now, but I don't have PyLS be installed, so it's not found. But of course, if you want to configure the default supported language servers, in a different way, or if you want to add a new language server that is not supported by default, then you have to configure it yourself. And you do that in the languages.toml file. So first, let me quickly show you where you can learn more about this. This is the documentation. And here you have the language support. So this is where you can check which language servers are supported by default. And this is the part where you can learn more about how to configure language servers. And I want to show you how to do this by using this language server. This is pretty cool. This is a very simple language server called Simple Completion Language Server. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to use common word completion and snippets in Helix. So you can install it by following this description here and this is the important part here. This is the configuration for your languages.toml file. Just copy that. And I will now go into my config directory here for Helix. And as you can see, I already have this languages.toml file here. So as you can see here, this is where we introduce the language server. So this part here, this is the name that we give it, SCLS. And we basically define, okay, you know, this is the command that you need to use to use this language server. And this section here is about configuration of the language server. So we can modify these values here if you want to. I'm just going to leave it like it is. This part is about the environment. So for example, you can configure what kind of log files are used here not really important right now. I'm just going to remove this. And this is the part where you actually append the language server to an existing language. So now here we have this language called Rust, and we want to use these language servers for this language called Rust. So SCLS, but also Rust Analyzer. So now both of these will be used when we are writing Rust. And here's another language with a name git commit. And we also want to use SCLS here. And you can add as many languages here as you want, and then add the language servers that you want to use for these languages. And this part here, for example, this is for just defining a completely new language. And then you can also define, okay, we want to use this language server here. But you know we don't want to do that right now, so I'm just going to delete this and also delete this. And now let me just change the language here to Markdown so that we can use SCLS in Markdown. So now if I go back and if I and if I open this file here. Let's see if we can actually use completion in Markdown now. And as you can see now, I can just use completion in Markdown. Because remember, in Helix, right now at least, all completion is based on a language server. So if you want to just use very stupid completion just based on the file that we are in, then we need to use a language server for that. And that's where this language server comes in. So this is pretty cool. I can just autocomplete all these words here when I'm too lazy to type. Okay, and that's basically how we can configure a 
language server for a specific language. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.